Hello there, Moore here, and thank you for joining me on my channel today. Today's video, I'm going to be diving into a couple skills that Miss Creative Monster has and explaining some of the, one of the skills that Captain Tamilla have and how they book up, how they scale up, and just how they actually use, are used in the game itself so that you can have a better understanding of some of your champions that you may or may not have. Some of these things, especially Captain Tamilla's skills, her skill and the way it works and books up also applies to other champions of the game. So this concept is good knowledge for you to know. Better understanding of the game allows you to progress your account much more efficiently and effectively. Thank you also, before we get into things, I want to say a big shout out and thank you to the subscribers that have already subscribed to my channel. Thank you so much for your support, your support, your likes, your views, your subscriptions. They mean the world to me more than you can ever imagine. I want to thank you so much from the bottom of my heart and thank you for that. If you are here watching this video and you are not yet a subscriber, I hope by the end of the video, I can earn the honor of having you as a subscriber to my channel. So let's get into this real quick. Let's start with Miss Creative Monster. I was talking about him. Ooh, I mentioned him. Here we go. Originally, I want to talk about this skill right here. Spooky Grum. It's his passive, right? He has some interesting names on his, his skills, right? All right, Spooky Grum. Places a fear debuff on the attacker for one turn. Whenever an ally is attacked while under an ally protection. I might be the only one out there. I don't know. I doubt it. I wanted to make sure that you understood this and clarified this for you because it was like, boom, a light bulb moment for me when I figured it out and understood it. This skill right here places the fear debuff when under an ally protection, right? I always assumed his A3 places a 50% ally protection buff on all allies except the champion for three turns. I always assumed that is what fed this, right? Idea of it, when they designed his kit, it does. He puts an ally, uh, ally protection on everybody on the team except for himself, and that feeds into this passive for a fear to proc and land on the enemy. Mind you, it's an amazing little skill. No chance, just lands assuming, assuming he uh, wins the accuracy check, right? But it's from ally protection. I always assumed it's from his ally protection. It's not. It's from any source of ally protection. So we're going to go to Captain Smilla. I mentioned her on her skills, right? We're going to talk about this one right now. It's an ally protection. Placed a 50% ally protection buff on all allies, except this champion for two turns. Captain Tamilla places an ally protect. Miss Creative Monster places an ally protect. Both of them, regardless of who they're on and where they come from, will proc this fear. To include... An ally protection applied to Miss Kratom Monster himself. That will also proc the fear to land on an enemy champion that attacks Miss Kratom Monster. That is an amazing, boom, light bulb moment. So if Miss Kratom Monster's ally protection is not up, but Captain Tamilis is up and they're on the same team, you can still get those fears landed on the enemy team. Captain Tamilis' ally protection on Miss Kratom Monster will still put a fear on the enemy team. That is awesome. That's amazing because fear is a nice little debuff. Let's get into that right now, okay? Fear. What does fear do? Fear is a debuff on the champion that gives him a 50%, gives you, I guess, a 50% chance of that champion's action being stopped. Straight up. A 50% chance of the action being stopped. So, for example, if somebody goes to take a turn, A1, A2, A3, doesn't matter. If there's a fear applied to them, 50% of the time, they will not do anything. Nothing happens to their cooldowns. That would be true fear. If true fear is on the on a champion and it procs, it will prevent the action and pull and put any skill on cooldown that they try to use. Fear will not put the skill on cooldown. It just stops the action. They don't do anything at all and just cycles to the next person's turn. This happens for counterattacks as well. So if there's a Valkyrie on the team and you apply it on there, that fear will stop the counterattack if you can to attack them. It will also stop the counterattacks from the masteries or their internal skills as well. Anything the champion is going to do has a 50% chance of stopping that. That fear is a very nice offensive debuff to put on the enemy champions. You want it on there if you can get on there. And the ally protection coming from any source helps make sure that that happens. It's not just from Miss Creative Monsters. 
alley protection that might be on a cooldown that might have expired, whatever the case may be, and he doesn't have a chance himself. Captain Tamilla stacked with him, makes it work. Captain Tamilla skill. Let's get into it real quick. And then I'm going to show the two of these guys together and show you how this works in an arena battle so you can see some actual gameplay about what these two skills, what these two champions can do together. So Captain Tamilla, she's an HP based champion, right? She's a dark elf, but I wanted to get into this one right here. Her A2, place the 60% increased defense buff on all eyes. Yeah, cool, whatever, that's not why we're here. Why would we be here? We're here for the heal. That's why we're actually here. Heals all allies by 15% of this champion's max HP. What's this champion's max HP? Let's go find out. Basically, 70,000 HP. So what's 15% of 70,000 HP? That's roughly 10,500 HP. So 10,500 hit points healed back to every single person on the team to include herself is an amazing heal, right? 10,000 HP, boom, wham, bam, done, back in the fight, right? But when you book it, look at these levels, books, heal 5%, heal plus 5%, heal plus 5%, a total of 20, five, there's four of those, 20% increase to the heal. I never knew until just recently, I did the math, I did the experiment, is this additive or multiplicative? for the healing. So here's the difference. If it's additive, that 15% heal becomes a 35% heal. That's a 35% heal on a 70,000 hit point champion. That's a huge, huge, huge heal, right? That's what, seven, 14, 21, it's like 24 and a half, almost 25,000 HP hit point heal. Wow, overpowered. Yeah, that's why it's not that way. It's multiplicative, which means you take that 10,500 HP heal and you times that by 20%. So it's a 20% stronger heals way it works. Ends up being about a 13 to 14,000 point heal. Things fluctuate a little bit because additionally to that, I've got this right here. This mastery increases the value of heals the champion cast by 5%. So her heals are now multiplied by 25%. To include her heal from her books plus this one 25% total her heals actually end up being about a 13 and a half thousand HP heal on the entire team it's still powerful let's get into the arena right now and see if I can't show this to you and show you the two of them together and how it works let's do a refresh let's see what we got going on we have a one mausoleum mage I don't want to show you that right here on camera but I want I want to make sure we win though still Let's try this one right here. We may win, we may not. We'll see, we'll get this run done. At least we'll get through it and show you what these skills of how they work together and how it's supposed to happen. And then we'll go ahead and end this video out for you guys. Okay, so we're gonna try. Okay, wow. So let's look at this. So Captain Tamila, they're all defense. Captain Tamila is gonna watch the heal from Captain Tamila here. Like I said, it's about 13 to 14,000 heal, HP heal, right? 14, 14, 14. They've also all got defensive mastery that increase their healing capability. Let's also go and just do that right quick. Okay, okay, okay. Let's do AoE stun because we want back to Captain Tamila. We want Captain Tamila to put on her ally protection. I want you to see this. It's from any source, right? Come on now. Don't kill Captain Tamila. Thank you very much. All right. So watch. I'm not going to do Captain Tim Mischief Monsters Ally Protection. Watch this. Fear, fear, fear. All because of Captain Tamila's source. It's from any source, not just Miscreated Monster source. The fear is an amazing little skill. 50% chance of stopping the action from happening. Captain Tamila's heal is an amazing heal. I've done a guide on her. If you want to go check that out, there's going to be a card up in the corner of the video. Go check out her champion guide I've done for her. She's an amazing, tanky, support style champion. But her heal, when you book it up, it's multiplicative. Which I'm going to assume, the way Polarium does things, that would also apply, that logic would apply to damage scaling skills. They have a damage plus 5%, damage plus 5%, and so on and so forth. It's a multiplicative style increase, not an additive style increase. So that's how your multipliers are going to work for heals, for damages. When you book things out, it's going to make it a little more potent 
is what it's going to do. It's not going to make it overpowered. Thank you for joining me on the video. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you on the next video.